This video is sponsored by the WavesDAX blockchain game, but more on them later. Hi everyone! You saw the title, so let's jump into the 9 features on the new OnePlus 9 Oxygen OS 12 open beta update. I'll cover 3 customization features, 3 privacy features and 3 utility features. The first 3 features are about customization. The overlook is a little bit refreshed, from the transitions to the scrolling animations and folder openings, but there are some details you can change yourself. The first new feature is changing the settings and buttons colors. Under the settings, personalization, then colors, you can choose the overall color theme for your phone, which will reflect in the settings menu, the buttons and the notification panel, and you can use the color palette to choose your exact favorite color. The second thing to customize is the icon's shape. If you long press the home screen, choose icons, you can choose from the pre-designed pebble, material style or default icons, or choose a custom shape here. You can also change the shape of the notification drawer toggles under the quick settings menu and choose from these preloaded shapes, but you don't have the new huge toggles like on the stock Android 12. The third and last thing I found for customizations is the new OnePlus shelf. Now when you swipe down from the corner, you will get a new shelf with customizable widgets. You can add the weather, phone storage infos and quick access to your most used apps. Rearrange the widgets and add from the other available ones. I'm not a fan of this shelf, but it is there if you are. Now to the utility section with three features. The first feature on this section is the gaming dashboard. Now you can add your downloaded games here and get more in-depth stats on how much time you've played and your most played games. So if you are a serious gamer, you will like this feature. And you will love this blockchain game by our video sponsor, WaveDax. WaveDax is a blockchain game on the Waves network, in which you can buy and sell digital DAX, which are non-fungible tokens, aka NFT DAX images of celebrities like Elon Musk and also memes. The game's currency is eggs, and since DAX can lay eggs, you can generate passive income from your DAX, and then exchange your eggs for your currency if you'd like to. You can breed new generation ducks from different parents and the rarer the duck you got, the more value you can sell it for on the ducks marketplace. At the time of making this video, eggs are priced at around 1500 bucks, but you can buy a fraction of egg on the Waves exchange linked below, or even win free eggs by participating in the game's social media activities, or also play the free and fun ducks war game to earn free collective farm tokens. Another interesting concept in the game is collective farming, which means you can participate and invest even a fraction of an egg in an already existing farm, and then share the revenue with other participants. So if you want to have some fun with a unique game while potentially making some passive income, feel free to check the WavesDAX links below. Now back to our second utility feature, which is Raise to Wake. Now you can raise your phone to wake up the screen handy for checking notifications and unlocking the phone a little bit faster. You can activate this under the settings, system settings, gestures and motions and activate raise to wake. The third utility feature is about optimizing your battery use. So besides the new battery stats design, there is a new option under the advanced settings called sleep standby optimization. When you activate this, the phone will reduce the number of notifications it delivers for you when you are sleeping, in order to optimize the battery, then bombard you back with those when you wake up. And the next three features are about privacy, and Android 12 is in a good part trying to improve the OS privacy. The first thing is a new microphone and camera access. Now, whenever an app is trying to use your microphone or camera, you'll get a green dot here on the corner to let you know about it. And under the settings, privacy and privacy dashboard, you can check your camera, microphone and other apps access history and remove the ones you suspect. Another new alert you get in when an app is trying to read from your clipboard. And you can activate this alert under the settings, privacy and alert me when apps read clipboard. 
The second privacy feature is Private Safe. Under the settings, Privacy, Private Safe, you can set up a password and a fingerprint lock so you can safely store sensitive data like images, audio and files in the private safe. You can access them from the same settings or set a shortcut on the home screen like any other app or also when on the gallery or file app, long press the button bar to directly access your hidden files or photos. The third privacy feature is the built-in app lock. Now you can set a password or a fingerprint lock for any installed app using the app lock options under the settings, privacy, app lock. Then you will be only able to open that app using your fingerprints. So these were the new features I found. Tell me which one interests you the most. And as always, thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.